woman is created from the genetic material of the Adamu. Think about Adam and Eve being forbidden to eat fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Does this not sound like the Anunnaki's humans being given genetic barriers to prevent them from realizing their full intelligence? Think about Adam and Eve being expelled from the Garden of Eden before they can eat fruit from the Tree of Life. Does this not sound like the Anunnaki reducing the lifespans of their humans when they gave them the ability to procreate? And when Adam and Eve were kicked out of the Garden of Eden, does this not sound like the Anunnaki's humans being expelled from Anunnaki cities after they began to procreate? Could the biblical story of Adam and Eve really just be a retelling of the Sumerian story of the Anunnaki, the true story of human origins? It is interesting to note that African tribes call the deity which created humanity Enkai, perhaps a translation of the Anunnaki's Enki. Further, the Adam's calendar site, which seems in modern times to be the center of a massive ancient civilization hundreds of thousands of years old, is known to local tribes as Inzalo Ilanga, the birthplace of the sun, the place where heaven mated with Mother Earth, that is, the place where humanity was created by the gods. It seems that the ancient Sumerian story of the Anunnaki is repeating itself in the myths 